Hello and welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to show you how can we write a pre-validation plugin. And our scenario is if a user wants to uh, delete a contact which is already associated with a case, show an error message that uh, this contact cannot be deleted because it is associated with a case. So just like uh, right now I have a Nancy Anderson, this uh, record here, if I want to delete it, I can delete it easily. Now as you can see Nancy's record has been deleted. Now if we come to cases, just like there are lots of cases and a user want to delete a record which is associated with a case just like as you can say incorrect production information this case is related to this customer scott connersman and if user wants to delete it from here this record so it should uh, not let it delete and give an error so for that i'm going to write down a plugin which is a, going to be a pre-validation plugin uh, so first of all what we need we need to open our Visual Studio. Then click on create a new project. Select class net library. Click on next. Prevent. Contact. Now click on create. Install NuGet package. Browse Microsoft CRM SDK. And this one core assemblies. Click on install. Click on I accept. All the references are uploaded here. Now go back to our class. Now rename it. Validate case. Validate customer. Click here. Yes. Now write down just like same thing. I plugin. implementing interface now we will start writing our plugin first of all we would write down our execution context service provider not get service type of plugin context okay next thing we will check that uh, uh, message should be on delete so we will uh, check it if context dot message name dot pull over if it is not equal to delete then it should return and now we will check that uh, uh, the target is contact record. We will check that. Input parameters. Contains. Target. Or. This should not be this. Context dot input parameters. Is entity reference. Then also should return. equals entity reference
context dot input parameters started then if target entity local name is contact is not equal to contact then it should also return now we will obtain our license service Nothing are going service. Service entry dot create or legend service. Context is ready. So yeah, that's it. Now we can start our coding. So first thing will come query for educators related to contact. We will create the new query. So for that, we will write down a query expression. So here will come name is incident. Now we write down column set equal new column set which is incident ID so it will only fetch the case ID criteria equal new filter expression now we write on condition equal new condition expression customer id comma condition operator equal comma Target entity dot id. New condition expression. State code active, which is for active cases, because we don't want that all the inactive cases record which is associated with contact they could be deleted. But uh, for all active cases we don't want it. So state code condition operator equals zero now i think everything is good now number 35 they're expecting this now it is active cases equal service dot retrieve multiple from query and if there is uh, there are active cases through an exception so to prevent deletion so that we will check if active cases dot entity dot count is greater than zero then throw an error that this contact cannot be deleted because it is associated with an activities
So now this is our code. And now what we're going to do, we are going to sign in this assembly. New, give it a name. And check it, click on OK. And go back to your code, click on build, build solution. It has been built and this is our path of this code, DLL file. Copy it, go to your plugin registration tool. Click on create new connection, display list of organization, click on login. Now we want a customer service, click on login again. Now it is when open. Now click on register, click on new assembly. Here, click here. Find your file, DLL file, which was prevent contact record DLL. This one here, click on open and then register selected plugin. Or oh, click on OK. Search it your file here. Open it, click right click here. Click on new step. Message should be delete. Primary entity would be contact. Event pipeline is pre-validation. Execution mode synchronous. Click on register new step. Step has been registered. Now go back to our CRM to see. First of all, we will see. Now if we want to delete this Scott Connorsman record, if you click on delete, it should throw an error. Yes, as you can see that destroying an error, an error thus uh, this uh, contact cannot be deleted because it's associated with an active case. Previously, it, it was letting us to delete it, whether a contact is associated with an active case or not. So now as you can see, the same uh, message we have right down on the plugin, this one like here. So yeah, that's it from our video. Please like and subscribe. Any query, please do comment us below.